Hey there, this is Seth. I'm here with David Goodman. Hey there. Chris Sheridan. Hello. Writer Kirker Butler. Hey. Mr. Danny Smith. Hi. Hi, everyone. And director Dan Pavenmeyer. Howdy. <laughs> Minnie Pearl is with us. Yes. She's alive so, and well. Seth, I'm going to explain to you the title of this episode because I know that you uh, wow. have always asked the question, why is this called Hell Comes Good to Good memory. Co-op? Good memory. There is a movie called Hell Comes to Frogtown <laughs> starring uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper where he plays <laughs> Sam Hell where he goes back to an amphibious, <laughs> an amphibious town uh-huh. and there are only a few fertile women there and his job as Sam Hell is to keep the uh, human species uh, going. So what does that have to do with Walmart? No, it's just Hell Comes to... Uh, <laughs> it, it's just ripping off the title. It's very clever. His name is Sam Hell. Sam Hell. Hell comes, yeah. oh. Hell comes to Frogtown. That's, Frog my That's good. My favorite There's thing. also a movie called Frog starring Raymond Land that has nothing to do with Walmart or Family Guy or anything else I'm going to talk about this evening. Fantastic. Sit a little further back from the mic, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Maybe outside the booth. Oh, no, <laughs> oh. I'm I love Danny. He's drinking deer blood pee and then the radiator. Look up there, here comes a really angry Russian. Red Dawn was a movie from, does anybody remember the year? 86. Four? I think it was 84. I think it was closer to like 80. I just guess. I'm not sure anybody remembers it. I think Art, it was 1984. I could be wrong. It was the very first PG-13 movie ever released. Is that right? No, I yeah. thought that was oh. a Temple of Doom. No, it was because of Temple of Doom oh, that they made right. the PG-13 rating. You know what? Nice. Son of a fucking bitch, you're right. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> He's absolutely. You know, the kind of drunk where you probably shouldn't drive. But wow. See, Seth He's doesn't have any beep trouble beep admitting beep when he's wrong. That's the difference, folks, between DVD and television. <laughs> Everything you've just heard was not beeped or cut out in any way. No. Let's see about that. But, yes. We'll I didn't see the movie. This uh, whole thing about this, what kind of drunk are you right now, was in Kirker's first draft. It was There's very funny. Mexi skate. Yes, yeah. That was a big fight. Mexi skate? I think it was. It, yeah, was, they it was a bit of a fight. Yeah. Here's uh, this, this wonderful sequence choreographed by Dan Pavemeyer coming up. You know, Walter Murphy, one of our composers. Yes. Um, this was his big hit in the 70s, the uh, so fifth of we were, Beethoven. We were putting the animatic yeah. together. I was like, what, what kind of disco music could I find that I could put, put here? It's like, oh, we have to use Fifth of Beethoven. And he won a, uh, he won a Grammy for it. And, uh, <laughs> did he really? He did. He's got gold wow. records up in, in his bathroom. In his bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally floor to, floor to ceiling gold and platinum records up in his bathroom. Speak, speaks volumes how much he cares about Fifth of Beethoven. He's yes. <laughs> Dan, Dan, for uh, 1970s era roller skating disco, what was your reference material? <laughs> it was Me- actually, memory, maybe? No, actually, it was. Uh, I was hoping to go see uh, Roll Bounce, which was actually out at the time that this was out. But instead, I just looked at the trailer, which was online at trailer sites. Dan, I'm not the first to say this. This whole sequence is awesome. It's great. Thank you. <laughs> that, this is my favorite that's shot. my favorite the shot. The look on his face. <laughs> it's, my yeah. favorite. it's my favorite shot so much I used it twice and, and just swept swapped it. it. <laughs> <laughs> so I- any place I could cut corners was fine with me. When I was a kid, it was Bobby's Rollaway in Lincoln, Rhode Island. Yes. <laughs> I'm the only one here old enough to remember Roller Boogie. I, what I love about this is that, uh, <laughs> that <laughs> no, my directing card... Ah. <laughs> My directing card actually shows up on the YouTube site when they do it because it's actually within that. that. Is that right? And much like the vasectomy song, if you look up the vasectomy song on YouTube, it starts with my directing card. That's so. great. That's a quahog rain falling down right there, my friends. Remember those sweet, warm New England summers? Remember? Do they still show these Burbage Farm commercials? I think no. These are these no. are no longer around. But they haven't been I'm longer that, around I'm, for about <laughs> 10, 15 years, something like that. When was the last time we saw a Petridge Farm commercial? They probably went with this guy. <laughs> you think so? Because <laughs> <laughs> Petridge Farm remembers. Meg, what? Poor Meg. It, doesn't it look like she's covered in semen? <laughs> kind of does. Wow. Yeah, she especially does now. Maybe she is. <laughs> man. Maybe she is. <laughs> probably because. Yes. Well, that's what happens when you treat a girl the way Meg was treated growing up. Yes. <laughs> Played some poker, had some bruises. Alex Sulkin playing Iceman. Alex Sulkin. Do we have a fight on Who this one? I don't one? care for. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was a fight on this one. A little yes. bit of a so fight a, one. Well, this one was changed to another scene and then changed back. Or, or maybe it was just the, the line here at the end. Legal That's had trouble it with it, too, but somehow we got to pass that. Yeah, it, it got changed like four times and then changed back to exactly what it 
exactly what it started at. But she gets a freaking cog just like that. <laughs> Stewie wants a sewing machine. Wilkins Hyundai and Subaru, you'll remember from the commercial that Peter did from uh, Patriot Games. Drive one of those. Dude, this car. Oh, there we go. I love this very, very much. Now this clip, and you know, this clip aired uncensored in Canada, if I'm not mistaken. It is. Oh, dude, I believe oh, this it is the one that they. Yeah. 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 Because they made it on YouTube. Yeah. So uncensored. <laughs> Somebody got in a lot of trouble for that, from what I understand. Yeah. I just love that he yells Rumsfeld. All those people who bought Hummers, they got to be kicking themselves now with these gas prices. Well, that's why the soldiers don't have vehicles. They're all here on the 101 freeway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck behind most of them on the way to work in the morning. Danny, that's you doing the voice of uh, the salesman that always shows thank up. Thank you. Thank you, Seth. Thank you for all of it. What's his name? <laughs> his name is not Jim Kaplan. <laughs> and I, you know, I wish, well, I've said this before. If people knew who the salesman was, I could play in the celebrity hockey tournaments. But you don't care if they say, you know him as salesman. <laughs> so I'm going to lie and tell people I'm Quagmire, Seth, if that's all right with you. You, you go, go right ahead. Congressman Thanks. number you go right three. Ahead. Hey, kids, I'm Quagmire. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> that was uncanny. <laughs> that was actually not too shabby. Ah, well, you know, I, I spent a lot of time alone in my house with the DVDs. You gave me a little vertigo as to which way I should look. <laughs> does the sedan protect against missiles? It does not. Ah, you hear that, Meg? Kirker, your wife's about to have a baby, is that right? That's correct, yes. Oh, uh, congratulations. Uh, a girl one. That. Thank you. Yeah, That's nice. A girl one? A girl one. When are you doing? You know, they have a wonderful uh, baby section at Excellent. Walmart. Maybe you want to go down there and buy some Chinese products. From where? From Walmart. Ah. Uh, do they have those in Los Angeles? <laughs> I don't know, do they? Bocce balls! Bocce balls, what is that a reference to? Splash. Splash, Splash thank you. Eugene Levy, Levy. <laughs> oh, this is oh. Uh, interesting. This is the first time that. So it wasn't this. Yeah, the first time we did this. Now, uh, Dan, did Korea have trouble animating this for you, or was that just Zach's big story the last time we? No, did it, they did it fine for me the first time out. Wait, it's, they don't actually episodes? like Zach. <laughs> is that so it? That's what, yeah, that's what they. That's what they told me. We we had a call. The other one is call. the other callback to Cleveland falling out of the house was in barely legal. Barely, barely legal. legal. Also yeah. written by Kirker Butler. That's right. Wow. The point here is that Bill Pullman and Jeff Daniels could kind of be the same person. Yes. They're very they're very even tempered. Hey Seth, are. wasn't Why this? Why were uh, they drawn to look exactly alike? Though? Wasn't this tank thing some sort of reference to one of your friends who like aimed one at a pizza guy or something? Yeah, my my cousin uh, <laughs> used to be friends with a guy. Who was um, Family Guy, based on a true story. <laughs> who was uh, had enormous amounts of money and not a whole lot of friends, and so he kind of took to <laughs> took took to my cousin and kind of warmed up to him, and they, they would pal around. And this guy owned a a Sherman tank, and <laughs> as the story goes, he would keep it behind his house and order a pizza. <laughs> and the pizza guy would show up, and the guy would drive the tank around the side and aim the howitzer at the guy and just go, "Drop the pizza." <laughs> <laughs> You've got interesting friends. Yeah. Brian is reading Crimes Against Nature by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Oh. David, just, to, David just said Crimes Against Nature by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And we couldn't is it hard to understand what I'm saying? Is that what you're saying? RFK, baby. <laughs> Seth makes fun of me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Seth, when you and Alex performed in Las Vegas, when I arrived at Caesar's Palace, the weirdest element of that weekend was I, I literally ran into Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Is that right? Yeah, he was there, and uh, it was I awesome. literally ran into him. You collided with I him? I bumped into him. <laughs> as I was entering Caesar's Palace, I bumped into Robert yeah, F. Kennedy Jr. That's a it nice awesome. person to bump, bump into. Yeah, he was really very, very nice. <laughs> So basically, Joe bought a mirror on eBay <laughs> so he could see a tank coming up behind him. <laughs> That's that how we come up with ideas. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, how we back. You have to back into that guy. I mean, yeah. Man. yeah. Look at you. You look like a half-empty toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> and was Peter not also bidding on that mirror? That, that, was, was, the yeah. Yeah. that was the original guy. Yeah. 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 You bastard! I, I was bidding on that. Oh, uh, you're Joe 182. You know, uh, this is Jennifer Love Hewitt gag. Oh, it's yeah. interesting because we actually have an autographed pair of underwear. No, uh, bra, 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 bra. In the writer's room at Family Guy. Yes. Or, or as we say in Rhode Island, her bra. Alex <laughs> Borstein worked with her and uh, mm. got, got her to sign a bra for the men nice. in the writer's room. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> what, boo boo? A smoldering cigarette, but. <laughs> Why do people smoke, Yogi? We've uh, br 
That's oh. that's that's from something. Huh? That's a that's a <laughs> yeah. PSA. It that was aired. a real commercial when I was a that's kid. Yeah, great. It, it was better than your <laughs> quagmire too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, this was cut out for air. This was cut out for air because the final line. Oh, I peed and pooped. <laughs> Oh, really? Was, yeah. was, yeah. was, was, because it's a shit joke, yeah. was not allowed Certain on television. Who because bring you television. Well, Everybody was, poops. There was an also we nerd. all take shits, folks. If we're lucky. Yes. And the idea is that, like, shit jokes aren't appropriate for children. And it's like, well, those are the jokes that are appropriate for children. <laughs> yeah. Those, are the, yeah. it's those the all, are the jokes that they know. That's the, you know. Shitting the is mostly what children do. Yeah. The, the first Stop joke was pandering to, to the farted. conservatives. Stop sucking the Republicans' dicks and oh, think for your fucking selves. Doggy. Too hard. Doggy. Gonna bite. Doggy. Was this on, did this make the air? No, this was no. cut. This was cut too because you can't make fun of uh, retarded people on TV. That's Alex Borstein doing that <laughs> voice, isn't it? Well, unbelievable. Yeah, so funny. See, they never should. Never should have told me that. Never should have told me that I can <laughs> swear on these commentaries. Glad to have you. Thanks. I'm really excited to get to work. You know, the Superstore USA thing. We had a whole run in the draft that we had to change for sales issues, where Peter is saying. You know, Superstore USA sounds just like Walmart. I mean, every time you hear Superstore USA, you could just think we're saying Walmart, and it would be the same thing. And uh, <laughs> because we wanted to make our point clear, yeah, and said, that sloth from uh, the Goonies. This wasn't on television either, was it? Yes, no, it, it was. was. Yeah, it yeah. Was. Oh. I don't even think don't though any of the that. show was on television. Was this in the? Was this on the idiot box? <laughs> the black and white idiot box in my den. This is what stores like Walmart do to small businesses. <laughs> Although Walmart does have Phil a Kel? special edition of Volume Four, don't, don't says, they? That has a extra disc in there with our appearance at Comic Con. Hey, when's the action right? figure for this guy? That sign really? behind Cleveland says "Lost Our Lease." Okay. You that's never actually, you never actually get to see it, but it says. Lost pretty sure our that's Danny Smith that playing is. the old man. Thank you, David. You're Thanks. Welcome. It's it's one it's one of the many arrows yeah, yeah, in my yes, comedy. Quiver. That sign just looks like our house, doesn't it? And you're bucking for well, yeah, a Mexico actually, figurine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I want the guy's got that a little guy ain't like, gonna uh, get me in the celebrity hockey tournament either, man. John Viner oh, doing awesome, Tom Brokaw. A little lost. I think <laughs> not quite as that, impressive that as Viner his... and Sulkin had like a Brokaw off in the room to see what a better impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> Viner's uh, as Viner's Leia. Morgan, Morgan, Morgan Freeman is probably the best one. I'm sorry. Yeah. Carrie Fisher playing. Really? Wow. Did she play it in a gold bikini? No. No. There's been an ongoing Hollywood rumor mm -hmm. regarding Richard Gere and um, furry animals. I think it. I think it's bled out into the. Uh, I think. I don't want to make America. any assumptions, Seth, about what nice the use of, uh, I think use of words there. I saw. A story I heard about it in Alabama. Stallone, so. Sylvester Stallone, apparently started that rumor because he was mad at Richard Gere for some reason. Yeah, he just is that right? He just yeah. he, he denied that recently, but oh. I, I still think he did it. Ooh. Well, I have a friend who was <laughs> well, at the you know, hospital. Gary, Gary you, Busey actually started you've, you've the rumor that Sylvester Stallone. Stallone had started that rumor. So. <laughs> Because he was it. pissed at him. Yeah. So, how was your day exploring? <laughs> 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 we can't really say where this came from. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can't. But it came from the room. This came, yeah. We'll bypass. We'll no. bypass. This is, this is one of the past. mysteries that, I'm you sorry, know, we will not solve. If you would like to know the answer, you can email Danny Smith at... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no letters. If you ever run into one of us on the street or something, yeah. you can ask us. But we I'll, might I'll tell you. But we I gotta might. tell you, I got a couple of nephews that do a great version of that. Yeah. The fart thing with Meg. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's one of those scenes Global that warming. when people talk about this show to me, they talk about that scene in an right. inordinate amount of time. They they really? absolutely love it. Yeah. Oh well, then you're welcome, America. Yes. This was one originally. The heat wave was going to be connected to the Walmart place, like they were somehow. Oh, they were sucking all the power. Out. It still yeah. is yeah. sort of, isn't and it? putting out green it's in an inordinate amount of, well, of greenhouse gas. Yeah. That was yeah. the bigger thing than it was. Yeah, that it was. It was because this does happen, right? With some of these big places. They're, they're, they're industrial size air conditioners. And this was us animating traditionally on cells yeah. all these video. It's Cosby. Th 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 these cheesy 70s videos wipes and stuff. It's awesome. Fantastic. It's Great so job, man. It turned, it turned out. So, did you, you know, have to draw? It turned that? out sort of actually pointless. <laughs> we could have just used the actual things. So. Who, who did Hey You Guys, Seth? That was, uh, I think, Rita Moreno. Rita Moreno, the only actress to win an Oscar. Oh, Tony oh, oh, oh you Emmy. mean who? Who did it for us? Oh, on our show? Well, that's Diane doing. Oh, it. What was Diane doing? Oh. You can see her right there, don't no, you? No, no, I, I, and a Grammy. 
And, and a Grammy. Grammy. Yeah. And a Grammy. Uh -huh. Wow. Rita Moreno, ladies and gentlemen. Chris at one point said, I have an innie. Uh-huh. Referring to his navel. And right here, I just noticed he, he's got an Audi. Well, yes, he does. Well, he's, you know, he's always had an he's Audi. He's stupid, though. Chris, he doesn't know. Yeah, yes. Chris Boy. has always been not that bright. He was pointing to his butt when he said, I have an innie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and strangely enough, in the model, he also has an Audi. There. He has an innie anus. <laughs> which is odd. He actually has an Audi anus, which is weird. <laughs> Yeah, this sucks. That damn superstore's ruining everything. You know, instead of sitting around complaining, why don't we go down there and protest? That's a great idea, Brian. All we need is some magic markers, poster board, some plywood. Actually, Superstore USA has all that stuff. We can just get it there. <laughs> oh, he's stupid, that Peter. Oh, that keep left uh, CD on the, on oh, the yeah. thing there. That's that that's Dan band. Dan Popmeyer's band, Keep <laughs> Left. Yes, available on Amazon.com. Popular album, Letters, Letters to from Fielding. Fielding. Ah. Unlikely that it's available at Walmart, however. Uh, you know, they could order it. <laughs> <laughs> you can go. You can go into Tower Records and order it. Uh, actually, Peter. Gattaca! Gattaca! <laughs> I don't think it's working. Gattaca was a movie starring Halle Berry, uh, I think. Ethan Hawke. Oh. Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman. Oh wow, yeah. some hot chick. I don't know. One of them. Did we have a cutaway in here with the um, that smiley face eating things? Or was that a different episode? That was, might have been no, a different, different episode. episode. It was a Early smiley year. face hacking people up with yeah. a sword, I think. We had a lot of problem yeah. with the smiley face because they said, well, you know, doesn't Walmart own a smiley face? <laughs> you know, do they own well, any kind Fox of smile? Has a big, Fox does a lot of business with Walmart, and so there were some political issues. Mm -hmm. But apparently we, we're we allowed to, to send, talk about that here. We had to send them BSNP things with all the different colors we were using to make sure that it wasn't the right yellow and, and That's, uh, silly stuff. That, uh... Peter standing on the mountain. That's from an old commercial for mm -hmm. peppermint patty candies. Stop calling me sir. Lollyhammer is where they held the Olympics <laughs> That's many years ago. Patty was, oh yes. It's odd because you know that smiley face when I was a kid was on everything and it didn't belong to Walmart. No, it and, it's, and nice it doesn't day. belong to to Walmart. No, I wouldn't think that it does. It was just a silly overreaction by think, our I legal department. I think the John Smiley Face estate is going to be angry when they. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, it, it was Forrest <laughs> Gump that started I think the ball smiley face. soup. Was not on, that line there was not on the air. No, Got ball cut. soup. Than I did on the SATs. Kirk, are your wife's about to have a baby? Isn't that right? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The boy or girl? Uh, why is that? Oh, just I said it earlier. In the yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah, it's bringing it back into the conversation. You're gonna, you're gonna have a great time. <laughs> is this your first? At least yeah, we know I somebody in this room has had sex yeah, before. <laughs> just once, man. Uh, nice going. Good shot. Yeah. I've got great aim. <laughs> I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Kirk, Kirk is very fertile, fella. Dad? We had another bit in here, too, that we ended up cutting. This wasn't funny enough. About Peter fishing for fat kids. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. He's got like, a fishing the line. chips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tosses it out, and some fat kid is like, like a marlin on it. <laughs> When did the sun get those rays on it? In our well, uh, only I think the, that's just for this episode. Tell us, you're the guy. Huh? For this episode. I think that was just for this episode to communicate that there was a lot of he extra uh, okay. heat. Tell me I'm scum. How will that a little bit of <laughs> kinky scoops, I suppose scoops, I did draw it. God, it's awful in here. This is even worse than getting herpes from a toilet seat. Oh, I love this scene. It's me. Oh, hey. You know, I had such a great... Once again, the lovely Alex Breckenridge. Nice. I just got back we love the 80s movie You Pass the Test moments in our shows. Was that a, a specifically 80s movie? It feels 80s moments? movies, yeah. Or, there's uh, just, or 80s TV shows. Yeah. There's just nothing holding that phone up but willpower <laughs> from that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's stuck there with gum. This was actually, I think I might have pitched the end that? of this joke because when I was a kid, a kid. When I was in high school, a uh, girlfriend told me she was pregnant. My phone's ringing. Just to see what I would say. And then really? she said she was kidding when she found oh. out I was gay. That was a lot of fun that Did time in my life. Did you ever to, we see her again? I was so relieved that she wasn't that I didn't even care that she lied. Are we now going to have to buy the theme from Police Academy? Cause did you pass just... the test? <laughs> I passed the test. Really? I'm you were going to sure. stay? I said I would stay. <laughs> well, high luckily school, it was. Man. Uh, Come on. I'm not sure I meant it, but it was the right thing to say at the time. <laughs> Was that guy that we just saw? Was that on the other that we missed the I don't joke? Think I remember on homosexuals. Yeah, I think we cut oh, no. that. Oh no, we cut, cut that. For air, yeah. Yeah. Was, was that? Cut? Yeah. How long was this episode when it, when it was like every every bit? Oh yeah, no, that, that didn't minutes. air. It was feature <laughs> film length. But that's my dad. What's more important to you, your job or your family? And don't pick the obvious one. Oh hey guys, I was just. Kidding. We get to hear the clerk's name at this point. Dad? 
Catching up on some plunger nipples. <laughs> that that fucking kills yeah, me. Because he was really behind yeah. on, plunger, on his plunger nipples. That reminds me. So am I. That's one of my favorite lines. Chris, by the way, I think I'm pregnant. I'm sorry I have to say this, but <laughs> it's probably Kirker. He's the fertile I'll one. Stay. Yeah, I am the fertile one. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> please, please tell me you're kidding. That's just, uh, that's just the kind of guy Chris is, ladies. The love in this room. Mr. Penisberg. Mr. Petersburg. Petersburg. That's, uh, great, I would say, uh, not at all a some, cheap joke. In some way, uh, a little lazy. But yes. <laughs> you know, great, lazy, great piece but of get music to laugh at man. Great piece of music coming up a by little, Walter Murphy. Great tank lazy. theme he wrote. Is this, uh, this was all stripes? Sp- yeah. No, yeah. this is no? Uh, it's sound alike. Is this a stripe sound alike? Yeah, well, it's not really sound alike. It's inspired. It's inspired. It's inspired. It's inspired. 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 Yeah. Well, that's very good it's work, then, because I just presumed it was stripes. Because well, I don't pay attention to this crap the way it was some people. Stripes are in the animal. <laughs> it, it actually, it actually really is. We just told him to write something military that sounded. This is a, an I love obscure this. version of. Uh, this was Dan Palmer edited this. This was actually Perry Zambalas, but I just loved it. Oh yeah, that's good. Little Jurassic Park, maybe in there. Yep. Yes, that's exactly. What now it is. tell the story about this one. Everybody hates I, this guy. Well, this is in da- yeah. This was in your draft, right? It's in my Kirk draft. Did? I don't. I don't like Patty Tanninger, so I <laughs> so killed him. You killed the character <laughs> off. <laughs> well, I, yeah. yeah. You which know. started yeah. a very disturbing trend, which ended up getting the vaudeville guys killed too, which yeah. I'm still not happy about. People. <laughs> you know, when we look, you can sort of fuck the other writers heavily. that way, can't the you? The salesman's you next, Danny. Oh, see, <laughs> this is why I don't like this trend. <laughs> next thing, it'll be cutting out that tumbleweed guy too. Yes. <laughs> and I know he's got he's got a lifespan. Oh, that guy. Yes. Oh, he's definitely he's got some story arcs coming. <laughs> Every tumbleweed desert scene guy. we have, he's in there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Show about hot Peter's about to shit his pants here. It's you funny. Say you loved me. You love me, and you know it. Hey, hey, mouth, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> like mouth, young lady. <laughs> it's always disturbing to see Brian sit like a dog to me. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I ever saw nice. that that, uh, he that completely fit. He did. He, <laughs> had, he had to go clean himself. <laughs> he had to go up. clean himself. He had a mudslide. Dan Palomar doesn't direct ah, for us anymore. Ah, he has boo. his own show. Boo. Phineas and Ferb. Boo. Check it out. Disney Channel. Hey, for him, boo. January 08 on Disney Should Channel. Should time out right around the time these DVDs come out. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so, but what's so your, just still watch our quick. stuff, though. I do. I still watch your stuff. <laughs> There's room for both. As come do back. all of my artists. Come back. Come back, brother. Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm. All right. Now Seth gets to boogie. Boogie.